Do you want to know how to remix your favorite songs and create a cool pan from left to right speaker or headphone? You might know how to do it already with keyframes. On the specific clip, you can use pen tool and create keyframe. I will show you how to do it in automation mode in audio clip mixer or audio track mixer, where you adjust the faders real time while playing the song and you change the value. First of all, get the song that you want to adjust in your timeline and make sure your track is expanded. Okay, you can double click right next to the microphone when there's nothing and the track will expand and then you can see the white line. Or you can use the slider, by the way, at the end of the timeline. By the way, by default, Premiere Pro sets the white line to be the volume. So we want to change it to pan. And this is, I know that this is probably the way that you know it. So I right click and then show clip keyframes and then panner balance. Check that. And now this white line represents pen. So the way you do it before, or if you don't know how to do it, you go to pen tool, uh, letter P on the keyboard, and then you can do left, right. So you can see the indication left channel, right channel. Okay. So then the song is going to play. Let me show you the way, which is I think a hundred times better. Okay. Let's open Audio Clip Mixer or you can do the audio workspace in Premiere Pro. If you go to uh, right side top screen or you can click on the workspaces selected from here, you will see the Audio Clip Mixer. If you don't, go to Window in the main menu and check Audio Clip Mixer. I also like to see Audio Track Mixer. So I keep it on the left side. So basically the principle is the same. that You can apply it to Audio Track Mixer but also Clip Mixer. But the clip, obviously, based on the name, adjusts just the clip. And the track mixer adjusts everything that you have in A1, A2, A3, whatever. So we're going to do the clip mixer. And then if you want later, you can do the track mixer. So the first thing is we set this to a pan. Okay, so we can actually see the keyframes. And in the clip mixer, we can see left and right. Okay, so we can change the value. Zero is in the center. Stereo. Um... And then if you want to replicate kind of like mono left, mono right, then you do minus 100 or 100, okay? And this right keyframes. If you heard before, you can see in the audio track mixer, you can see read, ledge, touch, right. So this is the automation mode. And we can change it in the clip mixer, even though you don't have these icons. But I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the start of the song and we start at uh, zero but this volume <laughs> we start in center okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play this and i'm gonna adjust i'm gonna set the keyframes and then i'm gonna adjust panning in real time but you have to keep watching because this is not all and there's a couple of things that you have to know so i'm gonna enable keyframes go at the start and then i'm gonna play or hit the space to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'm gonna just keep buying everything see you in the next life to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray what's wrong with me i just feel way i'm gonna stop and you can see all the keyframes created for me okay and by the way again if you don't set this to panner you won't see those keyframes so you have to do this step okay um so this is literally in uh, automation mode and you can adjust those keyframes okay so you can then continue manually um, and you can start over if you just marquee this and just delete them so the second option is you change the automation mode so you go into audio clip mixer and hamburger menu and as you can see by default the automation mode is keyframe mod mode latch okay so that means when you change the value, it stays to the value until you change another one, okay? And it stays and it starts from the point that you have already. But it makes change only when you ch when you change the value. In the keyframe mode touch, and this is really cool, okay? So let's, I'm going to show you this as well. So this is touch. And let's go back to the beginning. And now the keyframing is allowed, enabled. So let's play this. It's coming back if I let go. 
I hold this, it's gonna stay in the right and then I let go and it's gonna come back. Stop and then you can see the keyframes. I'm gonna show you how to do this in audio track mixer. So this is the same principle, but for the track, if you do it in the audio track mixer, you, you wanna see it here, but you cannot see it if you don't have the settings to be set to see the track keyframes. So there's only one thing you have to do. You have to click on the keyframes here. If you don't see it, right click on any of the track, go to customize and then make sure you drag these show keyframes into here and then you click OK and then you can click and change. OK, so show clip keyframes, that's default. You can also have individual um, effects and you can adjust those and track keyframe volume mute and then of course track panner balance. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go, but you can see you have this um, indicator the white line across the whole track because this is track. So it's a little bit more tricky. So, you know, you have to know what you're doing. I'm going to start and I can also do the right. So the, basically the difference is if you have, you have latch touch and then you have right. And the difference between right and latch, because it seems that it's doing the same thing. So the only difference is that when you latch, you always start from the previous position, even if you change it in the panner or in the volume. So in the right, you actually change the volume before you play, change the volume, change the pan, and then it creates a keyframe. So in the latch, it always goes back to the previous um, value and then you play and then you can change it. So this is the only, it's a minor, but you know, um, there's the only difference. So I can do right and I can see the keyframes here. And again, pen tool, select, I can delete them, start over. And just don't forget to make sure you're looking at the right thing. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, do subscribe because I am going to publish a new tutorial every single day. So you don't want to miss it and subscribe. If you have any questions about using this option or if you stumble across any trouble, leave the comment below and I'm gonna answer every one of them. <laughs> you can also check out my podcast, Girl with the Camera. You can stream it on Spotify or any other platform that you're using and follow me on social media, but subscribe.